Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this is going to be an overview on a yet another flash lighter that I just picked up. And this one was actually provided to me by a buddy of mine that has them at his shop, and he's been telling me about them, and uh, they've been selling really well out of there. So he wanted me to go ahead and test one out and see what I thought about it. So here it is. Uh, as you guys can see by the packaging, this is called the Bat Light, and this is by a company by the name of Nebo. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Nebo, you usually will find a lot of their flashlights kind of like at the uh, checkout lanes, at the registers, on a couple of different stores, and uh, more of like impulse items. Uh, you know, they're very inexpensive. Um, they're not the best lights, but uh, for the money, uh, they're pretty good. You know, a lot of people have them as inexpensive flashlights to have in a drawer and stuff like that. So, um, actually, this uh, felt like it, uh, it it had pretty good quality to it. So that's why I was. Uh, very interested in, in checking it out, uh, not just because of the build, but also just the, you know, the form factor of it. Obviously, you know, you can tell it, it resembles a bat, hence the name bat light. Now what this has is uh, it's got a 200 lumen flashlight basically built into this, uh, this bat form factor of a light. Now what's cool about it is it does have three different modes. So you'll have 100%, which is the 200 lumens. Then you'll have 50%, which is 100 lumens. And then you'll have a defensive strobe mode. Now obviously uh, what Nebo is doing with this is, um, is they're uh, kind of marketing it to, to people that want a flashlight that doubles as an impact weapon as well. So, you know, in my eyes, this is for somebody that doesn't want to carry a knife or a or a gun, and but they want to have something to defend themselves, maybe at home, uh, maybe in their vehicle, things like that. So this uh, basically pulls double duty in that sense. You know, you have the the bat form factor to defend yourself, and then you have the flashlight to use for for their for various different um, usages, obviously. So um, it is aircraft grade aluminum, and then you um, the the bat itself, the top portion has a protective rubber sleeve on it, uh, which has this really cool design on it. And then uh, the bottom portion, which would be the handle right here, is uh, it's textured. It has some really nice knurling, so it definitely locks in your hand uh, if you were to swing it and you know hit something with it or whatnot. It's not come. It's not going to come off from your hand. They also include um, the, a lanyard on there. So uh, there's a little hole in the bottom right here where you can secure that lanyard. So if you want to maybe tie it around your wrist so it doesn't fly off or anything like that. Now this runs on four double-a batteries which are included as well which is really nice and again with those double a's you get the 200 lumens you get 125 meter distance on there and then you get a runtime of eight hours now it is uh it is waterproof and it's also uh impact resistant on a drop of to 1.5 meters so uh it's pretty good you know again like i said in my eyes this is uh it's going to double as an impact weapon for somebody that doesn't want to carry a firearm or maybe doesn't want to carry a knife and especially like in your vehicle or at home and stuff like that so i went ahead and already loaded the batteries um you unscrew the uh the cap right here and the batteries the four batteries go uh in there one behind the other and uh here is the uh what you would call the business end you know you have your um your bulb in there and then in the back right here you have a uh, tail cap switch now this was one of the only things that I was kind of worried about. Um, it's just the weight on this. It It isn't very, very heavy, but it's he heavy enough to where if you are always going to be holding it like this, you know, like you would on a regular tactical flashlight and, uh, you know, actually activating the uh, tail cap switch might become a little, um, you know, a little front heavy here. So, but again, you know, in keeping with that sleek form factor of a bat, I think it would have uh, been intrusive if you would have put a light you know a switch up here or something to to kind of run it like this you know you'll have that kind of switch sticking out of there so i guess uh in the design form factor this is probably the best place to put it so when you click it on uh you'll get your 200 lumens there and then you can either click it off or just lightly press it and it'll cycle to your 100 lumens and then you do the same thing again and it'll cycle to the strobe there now what i did find is that um it will know the last uh setting that you turned it off on and then it'll come on on the next setting so if you're using the high and then you turn it off when you go to turn it on again it'll come on the medium it won't revert back to the high so you know again that's just something to, to keep in mind now this one right here uh, got a measuring tape here so you guys can see the length on this is about 16 and a half inches so it's it's not by all means a small flashlight you know um, and, but again it gives you enough uh, length to where if you need to use it you know to maybe you know as an impact weapon or to you know keep somebody away from you or even to um, you know bust open or bust a window open or something like that to extricate somebody and if you have to do that 
uh, it'll you know it'll serve that purpose too. The uh, the rubber sleeve does not go all the way up to the top, so you still have um, right in the in the edge right here you have some of that aluminum on there. So if you you know if you hit it with the tip, um, you know on a good whack on a window you might be able to crack it. Or if not, you can always just turn it around and and use the uh, the thinner end here. Now uh, I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me see if I do it like this. It does um, have a diameter up here. And then it kind of tapers down through the handle and then it comes back up here. So the handle, this portion right here is actually the width of the uh, four AA batteries. So, you know, if you guys can imagine how wide a AA battery is, you know, it's it's wide enough to accept that and with not a lot of room around it. So, you know, my hand wraps around it really nice and you get a really secure grip. So, again, this is the uh, the Batlight by Nebo uh, in their iProtec uh, um, line. 200 lumens, uh, 16 and a half inches long, aircraft grade aluminum, nice knurling, and uh, you got a rubber sleeve on here, water resistant and shock resistant. So if you guys are looking for something uh, that, you know, again, pulls double duty, or, you know, even if you do carry a firearm, but you just want something, you know, to uh, maybe a little bit longer flashlight, a little thinner, uh, you guys can keep it in your vehicle or at home, this will definitely be a good addition. So let me, go, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.